Do you have some news that you'd like to share? <laughs> um, sure. Yeah. I, I, I guess, you know, since David told you. Oh, he only told without, me. He didn't tell the world. Without my permission. Um, yes, I can tell you. And I'm going to have some very angry friends who I haven't told yet. But um, yeah, I'm having, I, I'm, I'm having a baby. <sighs> human, a baby human. Congratulations. Yeah. Wow. Thank you very much. Do you know when the due date is? That you're going to say, do you know who the father is? <laughs> I don't, I mean, I wouldn't know the father. <laughs> so, <laughs> do you, my first question is, do you know who the father is? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the due date is May 28th. Oh, I'm wow. really pushing for sooner to avoid the whole Gemini. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I've since learned that I have quite a few very good friends who are Geminis, so maybe it'll be okay. Well, congratulations to you. That is, that is just fantastic. It's so nice to have some good news, you know, these yes, days. You no, know, a lot of people have been saying that actually. Yeah. When I, when I tell them, the other thing people say when I tell them is me too. I'm also pregnant because everyone's pregnant. Uh, the, right now. You know what? There's, I mean, <laughs> you can't really be surprised, you know, I mean, not necessarily about the, in general, about the, uh, the number of babies that are being had oh, yeah. right now. Cause there's only so much that you can do when you're literally nothing else to do. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I thank wow. you so much for sharing that with us. That means so much. Well, that's some big news to break. And it, yeah, congratulations again. <laughs> What'd you say? Beat that, David's interview. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that takes the cake. Absolutely. Yeah. So you- It's actually, since you, since you asked. Yes. Um, it's actually quite a good story because um, I was trying for many years. I was trying for three years with my ex- um, my lovely ex, and I was trying afterwards by myself. I did the donor thing and all that. And I, I hadn't gone to IVF yet because it's very expensive, <laughs> but I had tried sort of, I had exhausted all my other options and I had, I had just done my ad adoption training and I was really excited about that. And then I kind of, I moved to Hamilton to be closer to my sister and help her out with her, her children. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of like, okay, maybe this is my path. Maybe I'm the aunt. And I'm like, you know, I can travel and go on cruises for the rest of my life and not have kids. And I was kind of wrapping my head around it. And then it happened by accident. <laughs> after, after, you know, being told basically I couldn't have kids. So how funny shocked. life is, <laughs> you know, it's, it, yeah. it's, it, 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 it's so surprised. I mean, you, you almost can't have to say, you know what? I'm not surprised that after all that work, you know, it, it finally... Yeah. You cannot, you, you, there are certain things that you just can't force. And, no. and then, you know, no. life just surprises you and oh, it can be both underwhelming and overwhelming and just like, wow, you know, I didn't, yeah, what a journey. Well. How long have you been trying? I mean, I was trying, I was trying for about, I would say I tried for about three or four years. Okay. Yeah. I know Amanda Tapping went on a similar journey as well. Oh. Yeah. So, you know, she... That I, I won't I won't speak for her, but I mean it was just that it's not you know you you hear all about all these people like oh yeah we're having our sixth you know and yeah. it's the the, um, the inability to get pregnant is actually very common. Oh my know? gosh! Well, so. especially you know my dad's an infertility doctor, and so we grew up around this, and and I sort of anticipated having trouble in some weird way because I knew it was such a thing. You know, I knew how really? common it. Yeah. And nobody in my family is like, my family's like, I'm going to have a baby. And then they're pregnant. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and so I was, yeah, like it sort of didn't surprise me in a weird way. You had this but, cloud over you about it. Yeah. yeah like I, I think I thought you meant David. Um, I, I, uh, <laughs> David's a cloud. over me. Uh, yeah. It was sort of like, not even a cloud. I just was like, it's not easy to get pregnant. That's, that's what was in my head like that. But even, even growing up with a dad who's an infertility doctor, I still didn't realize the age thing. I didn't realize how young your body becomes old when it comes to, it's terrible, like to use that word, but, but when it comes to fertility, like really after 36, it's considered much, much more difficult and mm -hmm. it goes down year right mm -hmm. so, and there there are things that can happen on in addition to that with the pregnancy i mean there, oh, there yeah. are things uh, the the risk of issues increase all kinds so. of things yeah and it's been like I, I i was 
at the beginning, I didn't tell anyone for a long time because I was like, oh, I'm really old. I'm like 150 in pregnancy years. Um, but uh, I, I'm now, yeah, I'm now like five, five and a half months. I'm 20, whatever, 24 weeks. Which do you know the gender or, or have you decided to keep it from yourself you as well? Do you want to break that on your show too? No, no, I wasn't <laughs> going to do that. I, I'm asking if you know. Yes, we're having a girl. Oh, <laughs> how wonderful. Yeah. Very nice. Is she active? She do somersaults? Oh my gosh. That's great. That's a good she sign. Extremely active. The ultrasounds are always pretty brutal because she's like. Yeah. <laughs> Drives them like nuts. Uh-huh. Yeah, she's a full-on alien in there. And, <laughs> and it feels like I what, what I'm describing it to people as is I feel like I'm pregnant with an eel because she's like really, really swimming around in there. But I think I felt some kind of elbow or something yesterday. <laughs> you may have an Olympic like swimmer on your hands. Yeah, so, yeah, maybe. My mother says maybe. I was extremely active too, and I'm more comfortable in the water than I am on land. So <laughs> there you go. I also, I also love swimming. She's, yeah. She may be destined, there may be some, you know, art art stuff going on, which we'll try, obviously, to dissuade. Um, but my my boyfriend is a, a musician. Ah, oh, okay. There's a lot of music around the house, and she responds, she's been responding to music quite a lot, so. I mean, you can't be surprised when your kid turns into a, a creative creature, you know? It's... Long scientist. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll start Stargate binge-watching sessions early. <laughs> wow. so I want to... Uh, I want you to take me back a little bit. Um, okay. <laughs> to Not little, little Kate. Oh, okay. How old was Kate when she realized that she wanted to be a per performer? Do you want me to refer to myself in the third person? I mean, you can. <laughs> well, Kate was kind of like Kate, that. Kate. What to say about Kate? Um, How old were you when you when you learned? You know, I've got the I've got the bug. I feel like it was probably around grade five. Like I would say, probably around age nine. I always liked to make people laugh. I was a bit of a like I did stuff like my my. <laughs> this is not, this doesn't make me a performer. It makes me an asshole. But <laughs> my, my sister's boyfriend was pulling out of the driveway once when I was, I was probably seven and he was pulling out of the driveway. And as he passed, I went like this and pretended he had run over my foot. And like the guy, like no. he went white, like he went white. Right. And then, and then he was so impressed and he was laughing so hard. And I'm like, I like this feeling. I like that feeling of like, I got all these emotions in just a couple of minutes. Um, but I, I liked being, you know, I liked making jokes and, and stuff like that. But um, terrifying adults. But I also, <laughs> I think when I was in grade five, so about nine or 10 at my at my high school, I sorry, I went to one school for 15 years. So wow, that's wow. It was a little crazy. And it was all girls. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we did like a 15 minute musical thing each class had to do a different musical and we did sound of music. And I think that was, that's when I remember that feeling of being on stage, getting a response, you know, interacting with people on stage. And it just, it was definitely one of those, that was probably the moment I would say that I was like, I actually want to do this. And, and then I've had quite a journey with it afterwards because I, it's, you know, there are times where it feels like, not a viable career and there are times where i definitely felt like not being skinny it wasn't something that i would ever be able to do professional and professionally and so i um i gave up at a couple of points and yeah so it's been sort of a journey but that was the moment where i where i knew thank you for watching this clip from dial the gate if you enjoyed the video please consider giving us a thumbs up with that like button it will encourage the algorithm to show this to other stargate fans also please consider sending this to a fellow stargate friend i also want to invite you to subscribe to future episodes right here on youtube we are a live show so changes are likely to happen all the time and if you plan on joining us live you'll want to be the first to know be sure to visit dialthegate.com for the complete guest schedule so you'll know when to join us and ask your very own questions to our guests see you on the other side.